One day in the city of Lanthorn, Johnny Bush and Dalton Jr. were in the backyard until... Johnny, I got you new shoes. Yeah, okay. One second, please. Ha, huh, done. Okay. Coming. Awesome shoes, brother. Where did you get them, mama? Hum, um, salvation place. Better take good care of those shoes. They cost $99. Then, Dad, Mama, and Dalton went in for breakfast. John started in, but... Where am I? You are in the solar system. Huh. Who said that? It's just me, Mr. Book Guide. Huh. Okay. Okay. You are... Johnny Bush. Okay. I'll just stick with Mr. Bush. Hum. Okay. Mr. Bush it is, but that's my dad's name. That's fine, but okay. I will take you to the Rocky Midgets, and you will go to the Gas Giants, and I will meet you on Pluto. Okay. Huh. Okay. Great. Now see that little round ball over there. Yeah. That ball is named Mercury. Yes, let's go. They reached Mercury. Hum hum hum. Oh, yeah. I'm on Mercury. It's the closest to the, um, sun. Oh, I see an orange ball in the distance. Let's go. Wait for me, Mr. Bush. As they flew, they talked about facts. John, do you know what? Chickens. No. What? The ball Mercury is the eighth largest planet and it weighs one twentieth of the Earth. Wow. Hold that just a minute. They're called balls or am I mistaken? You are mistaken. They look like balls, but they are actually known as planets. Okay. But my older brother, Dalton, told me that they are balls and he's 13 years old. Your brother was tricking you. Okay and okay. They reached Venus after a half an hour of traveling. Where are we? Venus? Venus is my favorite planet. Okay. What's your fact? Well, its surface is hot. 400 degrees Celsius. Fine. Now, you will love the next planet. Let's go. Now aren't you going to tell two new facts about Venus? Mr. Book Guy did not know what to say, but then he thought of one. Venus is called Earth's sister. And? And? Oh yeah. Second planet from the sun. Can we just say ball? Okay. Yeah. Now let's roll. They flew as fast as possible and landed on Earth. Why am I so big compared to Earth? Because if you're small to the Earth, it would make you like at your home size. Five foot one inch? Sure. Now fact. Earth is the planet I live on. Oh. And can I say two other facts? Go right ahead. Earth revolves around the sun every 365 and one quarter days and Earth is the only planet that has life on it. You did marvelous. Now, I'm off. No wait for me. It's dangerous. They reached Mars. We're on Mars. Mean the ball that is called the Red Planet and has many deep canyons? You just said a fact. Nobody knows the evil St. Marco and his psychic Trento hiding in the canyons. We can't have these guys on this planet. Fire. No. I can't. You. Okay. You owe me. <laughs> Get away. They made it safely away from St. Marco. You know Mars has large dust storms and goes around the sun in a little bit less than 687 days. Why did you just start the facts when we were about to be blown up? I don't know. Hey, do you remember the plan? Yeah, I do. It's about to change, because, look, behind you. Mr. Bookayo could not let John go and say Marco and Trinder were about to blast them. So off to Jupiter to get more, smarter. Boys go to Mars to get more candy bars. Girls go to Jupiter to get more. Oh, I can't say it because my friend Ben will tell his sister. Molly will get mad boo hoo hoo. Off to Jupiter. Boys will get smarter. <clears throat> oh no, they're having trouble through the asteroid belt. Oh. I hit my head on Ida. Oh, and that's Gaspra. They're my favorite asteroids. The asteroid belt is in between Jupiter and Mars. Some of the asteroids are 200 kilometers across. It's like a maze. Let's get through it. So anyway, they landed on... Oops, I mean they flew around Jupiter. It's hot. I want Gatorade. Ha uh ha. -huh. No. You should have water instead. Oh yeah. Let's get to the facts about Jupiter. You could cram 1,000 Earths inside Jupiter. The Great Red Spot is a storm, and now Jupiter has 16 moons. The guns of St. Marco were firing as St. Marco said. Get them. 
Get them. Mr. Book Guide and John flew safely away and made it to Saturn. Glad we made it. Wow. Saturn has 18 moons. Saturn weighs 95 times as much as Earth, and the rings are divided into seven groups. Bang, bang, bang. We need to get them this time. I, I, Captain. John and Mr. Book Guide finally got away from the raging fires of San Marco. Whoa. Uranus is so cool. Wow. There's a roller coaster. I want a ride. No, wait. But Mr. Book Guide's warning was too late. We. Oui. Mr. Book Guide figured out how to stop the roller coaster by knocking the sign onto the track. Why did you do that? The roller coaster was a trick by San Marco. You sat on dust that would make you crazy. If you stayed there too long, it would travel to your brain and knock all of the space information out. Speaking of information, we need information on Uranus. The spacecraft Voyager 2 found 10 small moons, and there were 5 moons already known. Uranus is 2.9 billion kilometers from the sun. It is made up of gas, rock, and ice. How did he escape? St. Marco was very confused because he had set the trap. We must get away. They made it to Neptune. Wow, Neptune only has one large moon named Triton and seven small moons. Awesome. Did you know Neptune is sometimes the ninth planet because Pluto is wacky? I mean, Pluto's orbit is different and the two planets cross paths. We're now 4.5 billion kilometers from the sun. I must get them this time. Bang, get away. Bang, bang. Now. Get away. You're not going to win this time, say Marco. They reached Pluto and landed finally. This planet is small and icy. It is sometimes the eighth planet. Its moon is named Sharon. Uh oh, he made it to every planet. No. Because John succeeded in his mission, say Marco turned into a robotic ship. I'm free. Seth? My long lost brother? That's me. You're alive. They both hugged each other in relief after not seeing each other for a long time. What happened? Well, say Marco shot me with a ray gun and mind controlled me until he was turned into a chip. John, Seth, I need to talk with you boys. Say Marco was just like Satan trying to stop you from doing God's mission for you. God made all the universe, the stars, all the planets and the sun. Will you believe in this God that made all of the universe? Yes. yes. Dear Heavenly Father, please save me from my sin as I have done many wrong things. I know that you have made all of this and your son died on the cross. In Jesus' name, Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I praise you for all that you have done. You sent your son to die for us. You made all of us and the universe, and we thank you for that. Please help me and my brothers to understand that we are sinners and help me to tell my family about Christ. Amen. We forgot the sun. Quickly, let's go. The sun is a star, not a planet. The sun's core is almost 15 million degrees Celsius. It can fit 1 million Earths in it. Well, it was nice meeting you, Mr. Book Guide. Gotta go. See you soon. Seth and John went home. Where have you been, John? Ha? Huh? Seth? Mama. It's a long story. We need an important talk at breakfast. Okay. Now let's get to breakfast. Okay. They went in for breakfast. The end.